So in this video I would like to show you practical use for the addition of uh, marker pens and pearlescent paints that I touched upon with the splash practice and adding stems and leaves. This is actually going to be part of an abstract painting that I've done celebrating the sort of musical feel of autumn. Uh, I've done different seasons and this is the one I'm working on. Uh, it involves adding little bits of colour here and there and it is a very subtle process but I hope that at the end you will see that it does make a difference and it is actually worth doing if you want to add a little bit of depth to your artwork. I hope you'll enjoy it and please don't forget if you would like to know a little bit more hit the usual subscribe button and I will see you for more videos. Thank you. What I'm trying to achieve with this piece of work is actually to pick out some of the abstract shapes which have been formed with the application of the various inks and paints that I've used in this piece and actually bring out the formation to make it even more autumnal feeling. So it involves just picking out the random things that we see. And I've used a variety of inks. These are the liquid Liquitex and the liquid metal. I will put these into the links at the end so you can see what I've actually used and how I've used them. Applying some of these colors, you only need to put a little bit here and there. It brings out the depth of the colour, it adds metallic shine and it just generally gives more interest to the painting especially when light catches it and it starts to really come to life. Um, so yeah we've got some different bits of colours going in, I've used the paints, I've used the micron pens which are a lovely fine nib and we've just applied the various colours in the autumnal shades the gold, the pearlescent olive green, which is a beautiful colour, and we've got some darker browns and some burnt sienna colours which give that warm richness to the, the whole piece. So I will let you enjoy watching this and I will pop up the details if you need any more in the links at the end. Here you can see I'm picking up the inks, the um, pearlescent copper, using a dip pen and instead of dipping the pen actually into the ink, I actually take the little dropper out and apply it onto the nib. I find that that way it holds in the nib much longer and is a lot less messy to use. A bit over in this area. Here I'm back working with the small brush to apply the colour the color, and brushing it on. You'll notice I'm avoiding the white lines which are meant to um, designate a musical score. Um, this is a piece about music of the season. So I wanted the white lines to just designate that sense of music without actually making it too musical looking. Um, what I will do is neaten up some of the lines with pen and ink to smooth out the white areas to make them look a little bit smoother and straighter. This is the lovely dark bronze colour pearlescent ink that I was saying about. It just adds a lot of richness and depth. Uh, even in the midst of autumn we do get lots of beautiful colours so it's nice to add nice rich shades in. Again just using the brush. Underscoring some of the lines with the dip pen. And just going back in wherever you feel drawn to add different bits of colour here and there. It's a very organic process, it's an organic picture and it's an organic process as well. Whatever you feel, wherever your eye takes you, that's where you need to go at that particular point. I really like picking out this flower head that seems to have formed down here by putting the darker shade beneath it it makes the actual seed head stand out and we've got stems and branches which need a little bit of warming up as well.
So again, deepening beneath a pale colour, making those darker colours even more dark, makes the pale colour stand out. You need the two to make it pop, really. Back in with the pen here, just to add some details and some lines. And I think this is looking really good now, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you.